I took a picture of the recipe um, that I used for the acorns and for the acorn pancake. You get acorn flour. I'll show you a close up of this. Half a cup, half a cup, heaping all purpose or bread flour. Half a cup of acorn flour. These are used acorns processed from this canyon, this very canyon. Two teaspoons of sugar in here also. Um, two teaspoons of baking powder in here. One half teaspoon of salt. One cup of whole milk. one glug of oil and one egg. I'm going to mix that together and make a few acorn pancakes. And I've got maple syrup, Aunt Jemima maple syrup mixed with honey. I'll be doing that in the salmon star skillet with mat stove. And my snow peak. Uh, I'll be making the acorn coffee. So we'll get everything started and then give you a look at but it. But I mix the dry ingredients in a bowl together, just like regular pancakes. Okay, if you saw my uh, video where I went to Telephoto Joe's uh, Spooktacular Camp, you will see that I gathered, it turned out to be 42 and a half pounds of acorns. Now, this is a small acorn. But uh, it's light, shake. A little bit loose, it's broken loose from the sides. 100% chance, 100% uh, positive these have worms in them. You get them when they're still green, greenish brown, where they're solid and uh, the caps are still on them most of the time. They hit, sometimes when they hit, they fall off. But you gotta get the fresh ones, throw them in a bucket. And if they float, you've got a worm. Get rid of those. But the finished processed acorn meal looks like this. This is a smaller batch I made from acorns out of here where I only got like nine and a half, nine and a half pounds, ten pounds maybe. And after I shelled them, got the bad ones out and everything, I only ended up with about two pounds of acorn. Uh, a lot of them had worms. But two, two pounds of acorns, but out of the 42 pounds, I got like 20 something, 20 plus pounds of uh, acorn meal. It's leaching right now at home. Okay, I did mine in this MSR skillet. Things been through, I just been through wars, and I, it, it just keeps me going. It's a great little pan, pretty light. I also have this Heath that Matt has here. Heath or Keith? Keith. Keith. Yeah. Okay. So, there's the pancakes from the Keith. Yeah. And we got some butter on them. Here comes the syrup. And honey. Oh yeah, I gotta shake this. Syrup and honey. Here, dude, put some syrup on yours.
Use as much as you want, man. Dude, that acorn mix is good. Taste that. That is good. <laughs> what else did you put in there? Uh, I'll show you afterwards. I read it all. Here's the acorn coffee substitute. No caffeine in it. Uh, you want to use this coffee cup no. here, Matt? You want to use this one? Mm -hmm. See, dude. Thanks, Alan. See right there. Use all this syrup. I don't have to carry it around. I don't even know that. Huh? I don't have to carry it around anymore. That's weird. There it is. <sighs> so here we go with the uh, acorn pancakes. Good, dude. <clears throat> yeah, these are awesome, man. How are they, man? Thank you. They're really good. They are. They're really, really good. Look at this. Acorn pancakes. With acorns from this range. From this, this canyon. Would have been better if we could have had quail eggs instead of a chicken egg to mix with it. <laughs> and some honey found. There used to be a, a tree down here where, the, you know where we come across that second crossing and uh, the new trail goes off to the left. The trail used to go to the right. There used to be a honey tree back there years ago. What's a honey tree? Uh, beehive was in it, this tree. And there was a honeycomb in it. It's got like, you can taste the crunchiness of the acorn nut. It's got a good flavor though. And this is the best batch I've made so far. And I think the next one's gonna be even better because all those ones I got from the Halloween camp, those are some big acorns, dude. The acorn meat was almost as big as that piece of butter there. Try your acorn coffee, dude. Cheers. Here's to Eric, man. It's to you, Eric. Ah. It's pretty good. That's the best batch of acorn coffee I've made, too. <laughs> How many times have you done this? I've done the coffee three times, I've done the pancakes twice, but the last time I had barely any pancake left and it was a different recipe and didn't call for an egg and the egg made all the difference in the world holding them together.
This bad. Last time I came up here to go up to the west part. I got him half here and half up by the Pasadena Fishing Club. Right off the road, I, we stopped and a tree was just dropping them as we were sitting there. Here's what we got going. We got about three dozen harvested quail eggs. <laughs> no, we got an egg, one egg, and the batter. You clean the fish, dip it in the batter, then put it in the uh, dip it in the egg, both sides. Put it in the batter, put it on the frying pan. Add a little sea salt. Good to go. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Egg corn and crusty trout. Ready for your first one? You need higher heat if you can get it. You think so? Yeah. Oh, I can get total higher heat. I just Okay, we got acorn battered fish. And a friend of mine, Robert, and a friend of mine, Lewis, will testify to this. These are those dehydrated onions you get off of Amazon. We uh, rehydrated them in butter and a little bit of the oil from the trout. We made like a gravy. Got some fresh lemon, red beans and rice. Got my taco sauce. <laughs> <laughs> How's it taste, Matt? Awesome. Is it good? How's that acorn batter? See the acorn better. Look at that. Well, oh, that is good. 
It's real good. That's mm -hmm. the best batter I've ever tasted. Mm -hmm. That onion, that's awesome. That onion stuff's pretty darn good too. That is so good. Look at that. Dude, the skin is awesome. Yeah. I like the skin on the bluegill and the crappie too. Oh man. That is good. Really good. Are you know pancakes, Matt? Remember the pancakes? Mm -hmm. And I have 22 These pounds. These from the same canyon too? These are from Bear Creek. The acorns from Bear Creek and West Fork. Remember when we were up there talking to those guys from Pasadena? Yeah. And the acorns, talking to those Asian people? Mm-hmm. Those, these are made out of those acorns. This is the first batch. I have a second batch. 22 pounds of acorn meat. 44 pounds with the shells. But some of them were... Uh, Your uh, coffee was really good, too. Yeah. Some of them were bad headworms, so if they float, you got to take them out. There's a whole process you got to do. It takes a couple weeks, at least. So how was that, man? Tasty. That was good, wasn't it? Super good. What'd you think? I would say it's 11 out of 10. That was delicious. I never oh. had better tasting trout. I, I, well, that was, we fried it up. What did we have? We had onions, we had butter, we had bacon grease. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's everybody's trout right there. <laughs>